Hi, uh, my name's Marie Davies, and I run uh, Layman House Bed and Breakfast in St. Louis, Missouri, in the USA. And next month marks year 34 for me. Wow. Of running. Yeah. <laughs> 34 years. Welcome, Marie. Thank you very much yeah. for um, coming on this Zoom today. So, uh, first question I have for you is what was your life like and your business like before you started working with us? Um, it began to um, become the same oh same oh. I wasn't as excited about it anymore. I was starting, quite honestly, to resent guests because they wanted more and more and more and more. Uh, I wasn't able to really grow my business more than two or three percent, which was really basically keeping up with inflation. Um, and I really had really loose boundaries. Uh, I was trying to be everything to everybody. Um, so all of those sort of intertwined, the, that's where the resentment came in, that kind of thing. So, um, and I felt my back was against the wall. I needed to do something different, mm -hmm. um, to both grow my business, grow me, um, and start loving it again. Cause I, and I do, and I, you know, otherwise I wouldn't have lasted as long as I have. So, right, right. So given that then it was, it was ticking along, it was, you were managing to get two or 3% growth a year, but it, you'd lost interest basically because it became, became a bit of a slog. Um, yeah. So what prompted you to jump in and join our program? Do you remember? Yeah, I, I uh, had tried a, a number of other things um, with other people, in one case, uh, another company. Um tried newsletters. I, I, I changed my website at least twice in there. Um, and nothing seemed to move that needle off of, you know, where it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, and, um, and I, I seen you on LinkedIn for some year, like four or five years at that point, but kept, and I tried some of your free stuff, but I didn't think I could afford the cost of the coaching class. Um, it's, it, it was a huge investment for me. Um, I didn't know where the money was going to come from because I, you know, back to, I wasn't really growing that much. Um, so I was a, back against the wall and I put my faith in you and took the plunge and, you know, plunked down my fee. And here we are seven years later, hugely successful. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it has, it has been hugely successful, successful for you. So can you, can you give us some key takeaways that you got from working in our program that have positively affected you, your business, your life, you know, what, and, and maybe something else as well. Well, what I realized once I was into it, uh, I really realized I couldn't afford not to have done this course with you. Um, and it wasn't just that I invested in my business. I invested in me. I have, I feel I've really grown by leaps and bounds personally, um, uh, over the last seven years since we, you and I started working together. Um, I learned to hone in on my ideal guest uh, instead of just taking anybody to get rooms filled. I learned who my ideal guest was. And oddly, I came from it backwards. I learned who I didn't, I realized who I didn't want and got rid of them mm -hmm. <laughs> or, 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 or set up my business in such a way that uh, they they didn't book here anyway. So right. Um, back to boundaries. <laughs> right. Um, uh, and I learned to set those boundaries in, in a variety of ways. Um, and I used to, one of the reasons I resented my guests is because they would ask for extra stuff and I would just do it because I thought that was being hospitable and I wanted to please everybody all the time. Um, we see that a lot in this business. Um, mm -hmm. And I started charging for those things and people started to pay. So the putting a value on me and my time and my work um, I think has earned me a great deal of respect by my guests. And I get less of that taken advantage of situation. I, it, like I next to never get it. It's very rare that I still get it. So. And, and, and also not only just respect from your guests, but self-respect. Yes. And confidence. Mm. Uh, my confidence. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I came at this from a point of, Oh, I can't charge them for that. You know, that's not nice. And, uh, to yeah, you know, and 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 everywhere I look, I'm expected to pay for extra stuff. Um, mm. um, so um, that was a hard hill to get over. Uh, charging what I'm worth, and not just for the extra stuff, but putting my room rates where they belong, not 
to make sure that if people were shopping based on price, they would find me and come to me. Um, mm. I I put myself above that. And so they're, they're sort of intertwined. The, the building of the confidence, I had more faith in what I was offering. Um, I could charge more for what I was offering. And I attracted the kind of client uh, guests that respected what I was offering and were very willing to pay uh, even though there are places that are as much as fifty to a hundred dollars a night less than me, they're still staying with me. Mm. So, mm. I, interesting. I, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think um, I think that's a theme that goes through our work with clients, isn't it? That um, I, I would say, in our experience, in my own experience, that almost all B and Bs are undercharging. Yes. Because, and they're afraid. A, they're afraid. They're afraid. They're afraid. Because, yes, yeah. they're, they're afraid. And they also perceive everybody else as competition when that is just not the case. Correct. Because we are unique as mm -hmm. people, as hosts. Mm -hmm. What we, How we approach our business is unique. Our properties are unique. And we nobody else is a, in competition with me. Right. Um, right. Unless, unless you count yourself because you... <laughs> Um, you're perpetually, um, at least I am, I want to, you know, how can I add value? How can yeah. I, how can I add more value? Please. I've gotten this feedback from two or three people now, maybe I should change this thing that they talked about independently, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah. that's really my only competition, so right, right? not other establishments in my, uh, area or, you know, they might choose to come here instead of choose to go to another city. Uh, because of uh, how I position myself, how I carry myself, how I present myself online, they may choose to come here. So it's not just specific to who to choose in St. Louis, but who to choose, period. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And do you have any particular results that you'd like to share? Um, when, before your course, and I started in early 2016, I was growing about two to 3% a year, which is again, keeping up with inflation. Um, the first year with you, I not only made my money back in the first three or four months, I increased my business. Uh, I It was somewhere around 25 to 28% that first year. And I have consistently done that. And I actually did the math from um, 2016 through 2022, even with COVID, I averaged uh, 28.6% increase, even with a downturn in 2020. Um, mm. So because I had grown so much in 16, 17, 18, and 19, that I had a 75% drop for COVID meant I was still making pretty good money. And had I not taken your course, uh, I may be, you know, working for somebody else right now, I would have closed my doors. But because oh, yeah. I was way up here, 75% of this is not the hit that 75% of what I was making before mm. uh, would have been. So, mm. um, so those, and I, I'm, a, I'm a statistics person. I keep track of my occupancy statistics, my income statistics. All, you've seen my spreadsheet. I mean, I, yeah. I since, yeah. since I've been on, I started at 89 in another house, but I've been in this property since 1993. And so I have 30 years of statistics. I know where I'm going because I know where I've been. Right. And um, so, uh, so I, these are actual hard fact, real numbers. Mm -hmm. And, and it, the, uh, a few years ago, I had, I wanted a construction loan to expand. I wanted to add two more guest rooms and the accountant at my bank <laughs> was so impressed with my growth um, in that, because there were a few years before the course, and then uh, I think it was two or three years since the course, and he saw that massive spike uh, in, in my income and was very impressed. And I think that lent a lot towards me getting that construction loan. Sure. Absolutely. So, yeah. So yeah. what would you... What would you say to somebody who's watching this video right now, who's wondering, oh, I don't know, will it work for me, sitting on the fence? hesitating, what would you say? You can't afford not to do it. Um, especially if, you, again, you feel your back's against the wall and you're just not, you're just treading water uh, or you're starting to resent your guests and the day in, day out treachery of trying to do everything yourself, trying to be everything. If you're in that position, you really need this course. 
And, and it's a, again, not just an investment in your business, it's an investment in you. Uh, and it is so rewarding to see the growth in clients when they get it, they, that this transformation literally takes place. And, yeah, it does. um, it is. um, so, uh, I'd say, uh, yeah, and if you don't want to rely on the OTA, if you find yourself relying on the OTAs, and and I've used them, I use booking, but even um, with business, getting business from them this year has been really down for everybody as well. So if you, that's what you're relying on, you won't be able to stay open mm. uh, for much, long, you know. So if you're if you find yourself in any of those places, and when you work for the OTAs, you're working at a 15% deficit because you're paying them a commission and um, you need this course so that you can become independent of them. Mm. And uh, I only have two rooms with them. I don't, I do not rely on them for business. So. Right. Right. Brilliant. Out of seven. Out yeah. of seven. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Anything else to add, Marie? Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I guess, um, it's hard to quantify what you'll get from the course, but if you put yourself into it and you do the modules as we teach them and, and um, learn from our experience, um, you could really transform your business. We, I, I can't really think of any clients that weren't really successful after they took the course um no everybody get um, everybody gets the result yeah. right yeah everybody a good gets result. and and yeah. and i think not not just financial i mean financial i mean obviously you've been very yeah. hugely successful yeah. financially and many of our clients have um many of them have doubled and some of them have tripled their businesses right yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it, it's not just that though is it it's it's more of a kind of wow, I didn't know I could do this. And the confidence that, yes. that that they exhibit and that they talk about, they speak about is, is, is priceless really. Yeah. And there's one client, uh, she segued into a completely different business that was, she loved doing the B and B, but they had a photography business and they loved that. And the pad, they, they completed this whole, they uh, created this whole new business that focused on the photography of the area that they're in and they they still use our principles mm -hmm. this, they're applicable to any any business and mm -hmm. so yeah sure they don't run that they sold the b and b but they're doing this other thing that just really feeds them more and they still uh and then they're hugely successful because of the uh application of all the techniques that we showed them and then mm -hmm. there was another client that uh, although she massive i mean she went she went up 58% in her first year. <laughs> um, but then realized the B&B &B was, she had, it had, she was done with it. She had uh, got out of it, which she, and she went on to a whole nother career that filled her heart. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just that you should take this if you're going to, you know, be a lifer like me <laughs> with bed and breakfast. But if you segue into another career, you take, uh, you take these skills with you and, mm -hmm. Um, and even I have, I do tours of my house, historic tours of my house. I help clients build new websites if they need it. And I, uh, came, fell into coaching with Yvonne since taking this course. So I have these related, um, side skills. businesses. Skills. Yeah. Yeah. That, that I can take these skills and translate mm -hmm. to. So, mm -hmm. um, as far as marketing building and enjoying. So, um, yeah. and I'm much happier. Um, and, uh, I make sure I take time for myself. Uh, I, I greet guests at the door in that happy frame of mind because I love what I do because I've learned how to do it efficiently, professionally, but still having that personable, uh, relational relationship with my guests. It's not just, they swipe a credit card, put in their information, put their credit card, and boom, the transaction is done. We have a relationship already started by the time they walk in the door. Right, right. Um, so I've seen a massive spike in my repeat business over the last several years as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, wonderful. Thank you, Marie. That is brilliant. Where, where can we find you? What's your um, website? <laughs> my website is laymanhouse.com and that's spelled the German way, L-E-H-M-A-N-N-H-O-U-S-E.com. Uh, I'm on Facebook. 
uh, as Marie Melotello Davies uh, on LinkedIn as well. Um, so uh, I'm we can, around. You, yeah. we, can, we can find you everywhere. You right? can, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much, Marie. Bless You're you. Welcome. Lots of uh -huh. love. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Bye. -bye. Bye.